This video highlights three common situations that affect college students' academic success. Sometimes, students turn in assignments late, seem to lack motivation, and are not happy with their final grade. Three vignettes follow. I want to talk with you about the assignment that was due yesterday. I really don't have an excuse. While the last few days have been crazy, I could have completed it on time if I had made it a priority and began working on it when you first assigned it. I just procrastinated. Sam, I suggest you turn that in as soon as possible. In the future, consider completing assignments before they are due and ask the professor for feedback. Some students procrastinate because it is a built-in excuse for not doing well. Regardless of the reason, when you work ahead you will probably find you are more creative, less stressed, and learn better. Scenario 2, Take 1 I received your email requesting that I see you about my effort in class. I've noticed that you don't seem motivated. Is that a correct assessment? Yes. I guess I just don't see the point. Have you considered creating a decisional balance measure? This involves listing the pros and cons of a particular decision, like attending college or taking a specific course. Next you might determine what is intrinsically motivating for you, not counting outside rewards such as money or grades. In other words, ask yourself why you want to learn the material, possibly to prove to yourself you can excel, or for the satisfaction that comes from helping others learn. Yes, I will do that. Tapping into extrinsic motivation can also be useful. For example, at some point you will need to obtain letters of recommendation from professors for graduate school or job applications. Also, the classroom is a great place to network. The student sitting next to you might help you get a job someday if he or she is impressed with your contributions in class. There are many other reasons, but I suggest you spend some time thinking about the reasons that will motivate you. In Vignette 3 Sam has come to talk about failing the class. Dr. Herschler, I want to talk with you about the F grade you gave me. Because of this grade, my GPA this semester is 1.9 and now I am not eligible for the upcoming soccer season. Sam, you earned an F in the course based upon the work you turned in and your attendance. But I have to play this season. I can't get an F. I can see you are frustrated. While there is nothing I can do about the grade you earned, I can provide some suggestions that might help you for next season. My coach told me this will be an opportunity for growth. Well, I will certainly have more time for my studies. I usually tell students that the time to care about their grade is before and during the course, not at the very end of the course or after it has ended. You might contact your professors before classes start and request a syllabus. Then obtain the reading materials and get a head start on the readings. This will help lighten the load during the semester. Great idea. I will do that. Students who implement the strategies outlined in this video will reap many rewards. Remember, doing well academically will help prepare you for some of the challenges you will face in life. A quote summarizes this point. If you think education is expensive, try ignore rents. A final important comment, students, if you are struggling academically or personally due to substance use or other significant issues, please speak with your professor, a counselor, doctor, advisor, or other trusted individual. Well, fellow students. I hope you'll join me on the Dean's List next semester.